toes till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. So I know a lot of times you guys notice me mentioning some of my accounts as different keywords because that helps me remember them because I'm not going to remember the last four of my accounts. I believe I currently have about 12 Capital One accounts right now and I wanted to go over the names with you and what's currently in them so you guys are on the same page when you hear me saying I transferred money from one thing to the next thing. And if you have any questions about like how I set up the accounts or um, if they cost me anything or how I name them certain things and if you want a tutorial make sure to leave a comment down below. So this should be relatively fast. If you're new welcome. If you're not new welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. If you like really Poshmark videos, planner related videos, budgeting videos and all different types of things. Over here we just like to drink our water, eat our fruit and mind our business and be frugal and happy. Please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed and you want to catch all my videos don't forget to hit the notification bell. So I currently use Capital One. Good evening. Capital One as my bank and the top one is my Tara's Major Keys, which is where most of my account is. Account most of my money is my checks. That is my only checking account um, that I have on this bank. I do have a Chime checking account, but I'm not going to go over that because I really don't use that much. Although I will tell you when I get down to the one account what I plan on using it for possibly. So I currently have one nineteen sixty seven, which makes sense because I have a couple more bills to come out. And then I would probably use the rest towards debt or something else so or as my buffer now my honey pot is basically my first savings account that I had it is two hundred ninety two dollars and eight cents I keep track of that on a monthly basis it gets forty dollars every two weeks my just keep swimming account is basically my sinking funds account this account gets one hundred and three dollars every two weeks as you guys see hold your horses has six hundred and fifty dollars in it which currently is the portion of the rent that i'm currently holding in there my hold your horses account is basically where i hold the half of rent that i put away i used to put away a half of my insurance when it was much higher so this is where anything i'm not sure of goes when i'm holding it it's like a holding account where i put my geico money i'm sorry if it's kind of loud i'm by the road and so on and so forth so room room is my car payment account and that is my car loan it is also under this i just realized that this right here was actually a car like the hub of a car um so that is what i'm currently working on paying off and that is what's left on it i have a youtube google adsense account there's zero dollars in there then I have a Poshmark earnings account, which has $27.75. I believe it's $27.75 in there because um, I had a item that I sold that half of this money needs to go to the person because it was on like a commission. And then the Gimme That Uncle Sam tax account is where I'm putting all the 20% from my Poshmark and my Etsy store and my YouTube store, whatever tax 20% goes right into this account. That's new added. Another one that I just added is my Etsy shop account, which is at $0 currently, although I did make $100 um, last month that just got deposited in May. So I think I'm going to count it in May since it was deposited, but portion of that is up here in the Tara's Major Keys. But you guys will see that in my transaction videos and what happened with that. Then the next account is Treat Yourself Girl. That account is basically $455. Let's see what's in there. That's the money I'm going to be able to use on myself for things that I want. Like I just paid off my credit card so I can buy things for myself. So my state tax return came in um, recently and um, $36.90, I don't know. I think I put that to clear the account down to zero and then I used part of my money from Pam, my Pam's birthday that I need to give back myself that came out of a tax return. Uh, the leftover Geico, Geico money and then other leftover Geico money, the $34.72 and the $50. So I just, 
And rather than keeping them in a hold of horses, I might just use them on something for myself. And then you guys know I have a baby emergency fund, and that's $1,000 was in there, and it's gained $2.38 in interest. Then Bye Bye Debt is a credit card I just paid off, and that's currently at $0. Um, and it's now at the bottom because I don't plan on using it. It has $1,700 credit limit. Now, I did go ahead. Um, my gym membership is $32.99, and I did change it to be paid on this card. So this is due on the 25th. The gym membership will hit on the first and your girl will be paying it off <laughs> immediately. I did hear that using your card for to get one charge or two charges on it and then paying right off will help build my credit. Um, and that is what I plan on doing with that. Credit wise is just my credit score. Currently it's at 646. Um, I would love to get closer to that 850 line, but it used to be in the five. So I'm quite happy with that. And in here, if you press my face, you can do personal info, security, settings, help, alerts and notification, feedback, Capital One products. My favorite part actually is the fact that I can get text messages whenever money hits my account or gets removed from my account. It helps me catch anybody who's been trying to dip and dabble in my account that does not belong there. But basically, guys, that's all my accounts that I own that I own, that I have with Capital One. I have had a great experience with them and I have no major complaints. I do have a Chime account and what I was going to say about that is that I'm thinking about sending my Treat Yourself money over to the Chime account or a portion of it. That way when I want to purchase something online for myself, I can just swipe that card and not have to worry about transferring money back and forth because if you're not aware, it's by law, like a federal law, that you can't transfer money to go out more than six times in one month. Um, and I just don't want to have those issues, something about sending maybe half or a little bit more over to my Chime account so that I can use that how I would like to use that for things that I want to use it on, especially now that it's getting warmer. But that'll be for another video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my accounts and that it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day, my loves.